guy comes back and she says, 好, 我们吃中国菜. So you know this 吃中国菜, you just learned it. Eat Chinese food. 好, 我们吃中国菜. Now, you know that 我 means I. Well, this character, men, you can tack it on the end of the word for you, 你, the word for I, 我, or the word for he or she. She is a different character, though. For she, and it turns it into the plural pronoun. Subject pronoun or object pronoun. We or us. So, woman means we or us. So, 好, 我们吃中国菜. So, pause if you want to think about the meaning of that. Okay, we'll eat Chinese food. And notice here, 我们吃中国菜. Literally, this is we eat Chinese food. So, there's nothing here to indicate future tense. The context of the conversation is that they're going to go out to eat in a couple days. And in English, because we're talking about going out to eat in a couple days, we have to put it in the future tense. Okay, we will eat Chinese food. If we just said, okay, we eat Chinese food, it sounds like our habit is to eat Chinese food. So we need to put it in the future tense. But in Chinese, there's no, there are characters to denote that something might happen in the future, but here it's not necessary. 好,我们吃中国菜. The meaning is clear that they're going to eat Chinese food on that day in the future, in this case Thursday, on Gao Wenzhong's birthday. Okay, so they have agreed that they're going to go out to dinner on Thursday, but something's missing. Thursday, there's 24 hours in Thursday, so when are they going to go out to dinner on Thursday? So Gao Wenzhong asks a question. 星期四几点? So, 点 means o'clock. Literally, it means dot or point, but it's, it goes after the numbers 1 to 12 to mean 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, etc. And you know, 几 is used to ask a how much or how many question. So, 几, like in 星期几, remember, 星期几 is what day of the week is it? In this case, Ji goes before Dian to ask the question, what time? So, dian. Now, the meaning here should be clear, but can you put it into a good English sentence? Pause if you want to think about it. If you came up with what time on Thursday, you were correct. dian. What time on Thursday? This is exactly opposite as in English. In English, we would say, what time first, then on Thursday. Also in English, we need the use of this preposition, on. But in Chinese, Thursday comes first, and what time comes after, and there's no need for some kind of preposition to help in this sentence. It's just simply, dian? what time on Thursday. So, Bai Yang Ai comes back with a suggestion. Now, you know Qi is 7. You know that you can put Dian after 7 to mean, to mean something that you just learned in the slide before. You know that Zemma Yang means, how does that sound? So, Ban means, this character here, Ban means half. Or when you're talking about time, you put it at the end of a time, and it means 30, like 1.30, or 2.30, or 3.30. So pause if you want and take a look at this sentence and try and put it into a good English sentence. And if you came up with, how about 7.30, you are correct. 七点半,怎么样? 七点半,7.30,怎么样? How does that sound, or how about?
Okay. Gao Wenzhong comes back and says, 好, 星期四晚上见. So think about what this means. Pause if you want and think about what he might say after they agreed on meeting at 7.30 on Thursday. The conversation is over. They're going to depart. This 晚上 means evening. So you know everything here with the exception of this 见. 好, 星期四晚上 见. And like I said, remember in the very first slide, I talked about how when you talk about time, it's the the larger unit and then the smaller unit. So we have the week. In this case, it's the same as English. We have the day of the week and then the time of the day. In this case, evening, 晚上. So, Gao Wenzhong says, 好, 星期四, 星期四晚上见. So what do you think this gem means? Well, jian means to see, literally, to see. But they also stick it, they also use it when, think about when you're saying goodbye to someone, what are some of the ways that we say goodbye, or what are some of the things we say when we're, when we're saying goodbye to someone after class or something. So, 好,星期四晚上见. So pause if you want to think about how to put that into a good English sentence. Okay, I'll see you Thursday evening. Jian. And Bai Ying Ai says, Zai Jian. Now, Jian you know means see, Zai means again. So again, see. So Gao Wenzhong says, 好, 星期四晚上见. I'll see you Thursday evening. And then Bai Ying Ai ends the conversation by saying, 再见, again, see. So I think the meaning is clear, but what's a better English way of saying that? If you came up with see you later, you're correct. 再见. 再见 literally means see you later. It's often translated as goodbye, as meaning goodbye. Um, but literally, it means see you later. OK, so let's now go through the whole dialogue together from beginning to end. Bai Ying Ai, Jiu 十二号是星期几? As I go through this, uh, pause if you need to to think about what the meanings are. 八英爱,九月十二号是星期几? 是星期四。那天是我的生日? 是吗? 你今年多大? 十八岁。我星期四请你吃饭,怎么样? 太好了,谢谢,谢谢。你喜欢吃中国菜还是美国菜? 我喜 我是英国人，可是我喜欢吃中国菜。好，我们吃中国菜。星期四几点？七点半怎么样？好，星期四晚上见。再见。And to all of you, 再见。